welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. If you're new here, I'm so, so glad you found my channel. Today we have a one brand first impressions and testing out of some new e.l.f. products. So I really, really am excited about this video, you guys, because these products are so affordable and just a little spoiler, I almost loved everything and I think that my makeup turned out really, really, really beautiful and e.l.f. is such an affordable brand. So I really like these products and I am definitely going to be buying a lot more from e.l.f. now that I have found some really holy grail products, honestly. So make sure you guys like the video if you do end up liking it and make sure to subscribe down below and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's go ahead and get into the first impressions and the products. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first product that I picked up from e.l.f. is this Holy Hydration Face Cream. And this is just a really nice moisturizer. The packaging is super cute. It has this little goldfish on the top, which makes me just love it and think it's adorable already. I just think that the packaging looks really promising. So let's go ahead and see if this can help a dry skin girl. So this is what the actual tub looks like. It's like a clear, plastic. I think it looks really sleek and nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and scoop out a little bit of moisturizer and see the texture and how easy it is to blend out. Um, wow. On first application, I feel like it is so moisturizing and it's so easy to blend in and it feels really good. It feels like some of my high end moisturizers that I have used in the past. It does not feel like a drugstore moisturizer. It feels very hydrating. And it's giving me a little sheen on the skin. Yeah, first impressions of this is I really, really like it. It has no scent and that's good because it's always better to not have scented products to irritate your face. So I really, really, really like this on first impressions. The next product we're going to try is of course a primer. We need to prime our face before we go in with our foundation. So this is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. And I'm all about dewy skin and I'm all about hydration and that really, really like glowy look. So I'm hoping that this will give me that kind of hydration and dew on my face. I have heard people compare this to the Milk Hydro Grip, like saying that it's like a little bit sticky. Oh my gosh, the packaging is so cute. Elf has really, really cute packaging. And it's also a pump, which is awesome. So I'm just gonna pump out a little bit of this. Come on, come on. Okay, so it's actually clear, it's not pink. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and, wow, it is sticky, a little bit sticky. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put that all over my face. Oh, wow, it is very sticky and it smells good. Smells kind of like a berries, I would say. Okay, I don't want to rub it in too much because I don't want it to pill, but it does feel very tacky on the skin, which is good because then our makeup will probably sit over it pretty nicely. Um, yeah, I so far I like it. We'll see what the foundation looks like over top of it, if it will make it look more dewy if it will make it last longer that's something we will just have to test out and then the next product that we have is actually not a makeup product it's a makeup tool so i have these makeup sponges this is the elf retro paradise sponge collection so this comes with three sponges this one i already dampened so it's really really big and this one's almost like a beauty blender size. And then this one is a little mini one. I think these were like $10 for three sponges. I always, always, always get beauty blenders, which $20 a sponge is absolutely ridiculous, but I do feel like beauty blenders work just the best. So I wanted to try these e.l.f. sponges because I have heard that people say the e.l.f. sponges are super soft. And this is so, 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 so soft and bouncy. So I'm hoping that I love this and we'll just be able to continue purchasing e.l.f. sponges instead of beauty blenders and that can be a replacement. That would be nice. So let's go ahead and do foundation. I don't have an e.l.f. foundation, so I'm just going to use one of my tried and trues and we will see how it goes on with this sponge. The sponge is really big, so it covers a lot of area at one time and really bouncy, soft and easy to blend. So. I am really, really, really impressed. And it's getting the product on so, so fast. I have like the tiniest little face. 
so or head or whatever you want to call it so look at how fast that did my foundation wow that's really nice i am loving this sponge so far and i use like the flat butt butt end of the sponge but i like it i like it a lot and i'm gonna use this pointy end for concealer okay foundation is on it looks super dewy glowy and really really nice my skin is looking great over that primer this sponge is a huge win i love it the next product we're gonna go in with is the elf hydrating camo concealer so i really have had i've had this before and i really like this i already know that i do so i'm gonna go ahead and put that under my eyes and blend it out with the same sponge and this is a pretty full coverage concealer and it's very hydrating on the under eyes and it's really really affordable so I definitely would recommend this concealer. I already know that I do. By the way, the foundation little cocktail that I used on my face, if you all are liking it, is the Anastasia foundation. What is it even called? It's this, this one's like a hydrating foundation. I know it's like a glowy hydrating foundation. And then I mixed it with a little bit of this Dream Urban Cover from Maybelline. I really like this shade. It really matches my self-tan and I just self-tanned. So that is the little cocktail I used on my face, if you were wondering. So I didn't have a product for powder or for eyebrows. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. And the next thing we're going to do is bronzer. These are the bite-sized little palettes and they are face duos so they have highlights bronzers some of them have blushes i'm going to use coconut in the bite-sized duo for my bronzer today and then i'll use a blush and a highlight from a different palette just so i can test out some different colors they make it so you can't get into this packaging even though it's literally three dollars but at least that's good because you know your products are going to be pretty safe at the drugstore unless somebody tears this sucker apart, which, you know, they do. So this is the shade Coconut. It has a really beautiful golden highlight in there and that is the bronzer color I'm going to use. But I actually have a new e.l.f. brush that I got. This is the e.l.f. Airbrush Blender and it's like a clear bottom. It's a really pretty brush. So this is like an angular brush. I think this will work. Um, Try to put it in there a little bit. It's a little hard because the pan is small, but we're gonna try it out. So I don't know how pigmented this is, so I'm just gonna tap it off and just kind of stamp. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I hope that this blends out. This is really red on my face. Like, whoa, 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 really, really, really red. Okay, maybe this isn't a bronzer. It looks like a bronzer color in the pan. It looks like a okay well this is why we test out these products so that we can learn um i feel like i just put blush all over my whole entire face because it looks really red um i'm gonna keep blending with this brush and then i'm gonna take the sponge and try to kind of buff over it since i already put it on this cheek i'm gonna do it on the other one because we don't want to look uneven, but I'm just going to kind of blend that. Okay, it's looking a little bit better, but I don't think that this is a good tone for bronzer for my skin tone or my face. I just think it's too red looking. It almost looks like a blush color. So I don't love that, to be honest. Um just do it on the other side too uh very pigmented i will give it that um but it's just not my favorite all right let's put some on the bottom of the chin just just kind of all over the face so we can kind of do it this tone since we already have it all over our cheeks it's very shimmery too. I don't know if you can pick up on that. Um, there definitely are little golden sparkles in it, which I don't mind, um, you know, that I don't mind little shimmers in my bronzer. That's really not what's wrong with it. I just feel it's too red. I will say, um, even though it does look a little patchy when you're applying it, 
and it's super pigmented, you can easily just kind of like blend it out with a brush. It doesn't stick to your face completely. You can kind of work with it a little bit. But is this my favorite? No, this is not my favorite, I will say. For blush, I wanna use the Bite Sized Face Duo in the color Spiced Apple. It doesn't translate on camera, but it's almost like a mauve brownish color. It almost looks kind of orange on camera. We're gonna try this and hope that it's better than the bronze shade because the last shade just did not go that well. So I'm going to put it on a Real Techniques brush, tap it off, and just kind of stamp on top of the bronzer. Okay, this is pretty. Um, since the bronzer was so red toned, it almost blends together in a way, which is okay, but it probably would look better with a different bronzer than this one. I think that's pretty and it's easy to blend and it is a little bit more, this one's more matte than the bronzer color as well. The bronzer color. Let's not even call it a bronzer anymore. <laughs> okay, for highlight, let's use another bite Size Duo in a different color just to be fun. Let's use the one in White Peach. So this one looks to be a really pale gold color and it looks beautiful. So let's go ahead and take a little highlight brush in here and see how this will layer. Oh, that's so pretty. I love this tone too. Very, very pretty. There's what it kind of looks like up close. For eyeshadow, I also have a bite-sized palette. This one comes with four shades instead of two like the face duos do. And it comes with two mattes and two shimmers in the middle and it's a really pretty mauve berry color story. Yeah, it's in the color Berry Bad. So I'm going to take this color right here as a transition with a big fluffy brush and kind of just fluff that into the crease. Okay, this shade is pretty. It's not super pigmented, but it's, it's enough for a transition if you build it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna go in with this color again with a more dense brush instead of so fluffy. And I'm just gonna concentrate the color a little bit more on the outer portion. The next color I'm gonna use is this deeper burgundy brown color. I'm going to tap that in the outer corner and just start blending it softly. It looks a little bit patchy on that really, really outer V area. But I want to keep building it up and just make it a little bit darker. I'm going to take a denser brush again and pack this on the outer part. Okay, it's getting a little bit more pigmented. If you pack it on, we are having some fallout on my cheek, but hopefully we'll be able to just swipe that away and then I'm just blending it out to soften it a little bit. The next color we're gonna use is gonna be this color right here. I'm gonna use this on the lid. I'm actually just gonna rub my finger in there and pack it on and see how the pigment is. Okay, okay, it's pretty. All right, so this is the finished eyeshadow. I kind of cleaned it up and made it look a little bit more sharp on the edges. And I like it. I like it a lot for $3. I think that they are great for $3. It's not the best quality eyeshadow in the world, but I definitely made it work and made a beautiful look with it. So I think that you guys would really like it. This next product is the Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in the color Flirty Birdie. And I'm going to use this on my lid. I'm so excited. I think this looks like a copy or dupe of the Stila glitter and glow shadows. So we're gonna see if it is. It kind of looks like the packaging of that too. It's just a mini size. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this on the inner part of my eyelid. Okay, that is pretty. And I'm just gonna kind of blend it with my finger. Okay, that looks really pretty. I like it. I'm going to take this glitter shadow again also and put it in the inner 
portion of the bottom lash line. And so I don't have mascara or eyeliner or any of that from e.l.f. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, finish my eyes, and we will come back for the lips. I think that the lips will be the final product that we're gonna test out today. All right, the eyes are complete. I put on a really bold winged liner, black in the inner rims. I really smoked it out underneath the lash line with that really dark color in the Berry Bad palette. And I just put these really big lashes on. So I just wanted bold eyes and I think it looks really, really pretty. I like it. And I really like that sparkly eyeshadow so far. I think that would be a dupe for the Stila one. And last but not least, we have lip products. And I have two, so I think I'm gonna go with this one. Um, this one is the Ride or Die Lip Balm in Tough Cookie. It's a little bit more nudie pink. And then this one is a little bit more out of my comfort zone. This is the Sheer Slick Cherry Slush Lipstick. And I think it's supposed to be like that blotted look that sheer um, blotted lip look. So I'm gonna line my lips like normal and then we're gonna apply this and see how it goes. Let's do like the ColourPop lip liner in the color Bumble. Let's add that Cherry Slush Balm on top. This is what it looks like, it's a roll up tube like that. The packaging, super cute once again and it looks like it's gonna be like a sheer color. Ooh, that's pretty. I like it. It matches the lip liner really good. See, this is like a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I do think that since it's sheer, it makes it a little bit more wearable. It's like a watermelon color. I like it though, I actually really like it. And that's really hydrating and it goes on really pretty pigmented, but still that like glossy sheer look. So this is the final look with all of my new e.l.f. products. And I think it looks really pretty. So let's go over the roundup of products and just I'll tell you really quickly if I recommend it or not and what I thought of it. So first things first, the hydrating face cream. Absolutely love it. I think it was great. It feels like a high-end skin product and I definitely will keep using this 100%. I think this will be a repurchase for me. Just from the first use, I can tell how much I like this. The second thing I used was the Jelly Pop Primer, which I also really loved. I think my skin is looking so dewy, glowy, and hydrated. And I think that my foundation layered amazing on top of this and did give a glowy look. And I like that it was sticky and gives that grip as well. The next product we had was the sponge, which I also highly recommend. I think that these are amazing. I don't know about any of the other e.l.f. sponges, but this little collection right here, this is as good as a beauty blender and I will definitely be repurchasing these. They're so soft and squishy. The next thing is the concealer, the hydrating camo concealer. This is a pretty full coverage concealer and it is beautiful, hydrating, not flaky, dry, or cracky on the under eye. And it's very smooth, as you can see. Highly recommend this one. I think you guys would love it. The next product that I used were these bite-sized duos for the face. And I went in with the coconut one for my bronzer. This one was probably the biggest fail on my face. Now that everything is done and the makeup is all together, I do think it worked out, but do I think that this is a good bronzer shade for me and will I continue to pull this out? Absolutely not. I think it's too red toned for me and it really, it blended easily, but at the same time, it like put a stripe across my face. So I had to really work with it. So even though these are really cheap, I wouldn't recommend this as a bronzer. However, I do like the blush duo and highlight duos. I do think if you like blush and you want to test out new colors, $3 for these is good. And I think that they're a nice blush formula. I was really impressed with the highlight formula in these. Well, at least the one that I used, which was white peach. That looks really good on the skin. It didn't pick up too much texture, and I think it looks really glowy and nice. The other bite-sized product I used was the Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette, and I do think I got a pretty look. However, I don't think these are the most blendable pigmented shadows out there, but for $3, I do recommend it. I probably won't pick up more, 
but I definitely, since I have this one, will use it and would recommend it to you guys if you're looking for a new color story. They're very cute, they're very cheap. These liquid eyeshadows that are the glitter formula, I love them. This one that I put on my eye in the color Flirty Birdie is so pretty and I think it's very comparable to the Stila one. I believe the last product that I used from e.l.f. today was the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Cherry Slush color and it, this is a sheer lip balm and I think that it looks super pretty on the lips. It's juicy, it's moisturizing, the color is pretty, they have other colors as well. I wanted to try this pinky red color out just because it is a little bit different for me and to buy something that's affordable, I like to experiment with color there instead of like a high-end lipstick where I just would rather get a nude that I am used to that I'll wear all the time. But I actually do think that I would wear this a lot because I think the color is really flattering and it's a really pretty summer color. So I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. I can definitely do more of these type of videos where I do affordable brands, like all one brand on my face. I wish I would have gotten a foundation, but I almost had everything except for like mascara and foundation and stuff. But I think it turned out really, really good. Give me a thumbs up if you like videos like this and you want me to do more like this. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.